This is the Haptime Digital Clock Radio. Let's take it out of the box. In the box we find, of course, the clock itself. There's a user manual and a USB cord. That's USB to micro USB right there. And this particular version includes the power adapter. There is a version available that is just that without it. And you can power it from any USB device that you have, whether it be a laptop, battery bank, maybe you have one of these already, what have you. Let's get this hooked up and we'll set the time. Okay, here we are. Just press the clock button and then you can hold down the button here until we get to the proper time. And once there, press the clock button again and that's all set. The clock display can be shut off if you're sensitive to that. Press the button there, it shows up at its lowest level. The medium setting, which was the default, and there's the brightest setting, which I'm going to leave it at for the remainder of this video. The clock can display 24-hour time, just like that, or 12-hour time, like that. You have an alarm here, you press that, and I'm going to go ahead and set that time in. And you'll notice it's flashing with a 1, that's because this has dual alarms. Once set, we'll press it again, and it will go off at the prescribed time. You can wait to music or the tone in it, so we'll wait for that. So there's your alarm. There's a snooze button right here you can press, and you're all set. Those will flash, and in about nine minutes it'll go off again. Now they give you a wire antenna. This receives FM only. We'll hold that down, and then we can tune in what we want. I guess this is for overseas since it starts well out of the FM band in the United States. You can press that and set the volume. I'll set it down here. To set the preset, you just tune in to whatever favorite station you want. This happens to be 93.1. And we're going to press and hold this button here. You can now go up and down to select the memory location you want. And then press again, and now it's stored in number one. Now if I wanted to set this as my second station, I'd hold that. Press up. It says two. And press that button there. To set the alarm to wake to radio, we'll press the alarm button. I'll set the time. We'll press this button right here. And you can select buzzer or radio. And on radio, you can go ahead and tune in whatever station you want. So let me get to one. That one's good right there. And we'll press the alarm button. And now it'll wake us up to the radio. And there you are. You can press your snooze button right there. And in nine minutes it'll come back and play the radio again. Also has a sleep timer. Turn the radio on right there. And then you can press sleep. And you can set it to whatever you want. You can go from five minutes on up to 90 or off. So we'll leave it at five minutes and in five minutes the radio will shut off. This also has a button cell battery backup. So if I go ahead and unplug it, it goes out. When I plug it back in, the time is still there. In case anything goes horribly wrong or if you want to reset all the presets back to nothing so you can reprogram, there's a little hole right there that you can poke a paper clip in to reset. So once again, this was the Haptime Digital Clock Radio. If you'd like to purchase this item, I'll leave a link in the video description where you can find it available for sale on Amazon. Thanks for watching. Make sure you click like, make sure you click subscribe, and take care. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.